Hey guys, welcome back to the So Artsy YouTube channel. In today's video tutorial, we're going to be doing the Apple Tree Bunny Hug Grow With Me Hoodie. It's a mouthful, but it's worth it. Usually with kids clothing, you only get a few months wear before the child grows out of it. With these Grow With Me patterns, today we're gonna to be doing a 12 month to a 3T. That's like two years worth of wear out of one clothing item. Almost unheard of in children's clothing. That's one reason I really love these patterns. I get the patterns from Apple Tree Pattern Co. I'll have their Etsy shop linked down in the comments below. They have, the, they have pants that are grow with me, shirts that are grow with me, all kinds of grow with me stuff. So it's really good. What I love about hoodie patterns you don't need a lot of supplies. You really need your fabric, your serger, or your sewing machine, and some clips. That's it, that's all you need. Super simple, you don't need to pull out a bunch of hardware and elastic and all these tools that you usually have to pull out to make bags with. Clothing patterns are very simple. So the supplies you're gonna be needing today is your pattern, for the size I'm doing, it's not gonna require a yard of each fabric that I choose, but I'm gonna say get a yard because it does go up to like a 6T at least. And so the bigger sizes obviously use more fabric. So I'm gonna be using this panel that I got. Look how cute. This is for my best friend's boy's uh, birthday, his first birthday. So they're Star Wars obsessed. So I'm gonna make him this. And this is a panel. You don't have to use a panel. You can use just regular fabric as long as it's knit and has stretch. You do want knit fabric for and this. I'm gonna be tool. using this matching fabric that I bought at the same time from the same fabric company. I'll be sure to link it in the description down below. This, uh, I have a yard of this. It's going, this is going to be the back, the outer part of the hood. Um, and there's a pocket on the front, like a pocket cutout on the front of the hoodie that this will peek through. So I'm gonna try and cut out this character here to match that on the front so it kind of peeks out at you. Then I'm just gonna be using some solid black cotton lycra. Um, I bought this from the Purple Seamstress fabric. Uh, that's where I get all my solids from. I'll be sure to link her in the description down below. She's wonderful, super fast shipping, and you wouldn't believe how much fabric she can get in one package. She is like a packaging goddess. It's amazing. This is gonna be the cuffs, the waistband. There's a little lining pocket there. That's what this is gonna be, the inside of the hoodie. It's gonna be fun today. Before we get started, let me remind you that at any point in this video, if you like the information that you're getting, go ahead and hit like down below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for all of our future videos and hit the bell notification as per my 10 year old so that you'll get notified whenever I do post a new video. Let's get started. Okay, so for today, these are all your powder pieces that you're gonna have to cut out. You're going to need one of your waistband. I'm doing two pockets on this. So I have two of my pocket uh, banding, two sleeve cuffs, four total hood cutouts, mirror images. You need two of your lining mirrored. So like this is one way and then I had to flip it and do it the other way. And two of your linings mirrored, one of your back piece cut out, two of your sleeves. This is the pocket mirror images because I'm doing two pockets. And on the pattern piece, it does have this little window here. This is just so you can line up what part of the pocket is going to be seen on the outside of the hoodie. And then this piece is your front piece. If you're doing two pockets, cut all the way through both layers of fabric. If you're just doing one pocket, only cut out through one layer of fabric. Do not cut through both. If you're not doing any pockets, just simply cut along the pattern piece in a straight line here. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna wanna work on is our sleeve cuffs, which is gonna go at the end of your sleeve, obviously. Um, <laughs> 
we're going to take, this is one of the cuts. So you're gonna take this and you're gonna fold it long ways. And then we're just gonna clip it. Now, when I'm using my serger, I typically don't clip a lot. Uh, I just kind of line it up as I go. So what I'm gonna do is not clip them, but you can, you can place clips all along here if you want to. I don't clip a lot when I'm using my serger. It's just easier and faster for me to just line it up as I go. So you'll wanna do that for your sleeve cuffs, both of your sleeve cuffs there. This is your waistband cuff here. It's a really long piece here. And you wanna fold that in half. And we're gonna serge along this side, the short side. We're gonna serge that together there. And then while we're still at the serger, we are going to go ahead and put our um, hood together as well. Go ahead and assemble that too. So for that, you want to place, let me move these out of the way. For that, you wanna place your hood right side up and take the other piece and place it right side down. I will clip this because it's not a straight line. When it's just a straight line, I just like to just go for it. Let's see, so I'm gonna clip around the edge here just enough to hold it in place. Like that. And it's easiest just to get all these little parts. Just go ahead and get go ahead and get them out of the way so we can go ahead and construct the once you do a few of these, they come together so fast. Keep clipping, almost done. Okay, so we're gonna clip that. Put that to the side. Same exact thing with your lining. My lining is black on both sides. It's just a solid cotton lacquer, so I'm okay with just pinning it like this. There is really no right side and wrong side with it. I guess whichever side looks a little darker, which is what's already on the inside. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish pinning this around and then I'll see you at the serger. Okay, so this is your uh, one of your sleeve cuffs here. Pretty long. So we're gonna serge it along this long edge here. I'm gonna lift your presser foot. Now this line here, tells you where your knife is. So anything over this line is going to get cut off. So if you don't want it over that line, then line it up right there. It's okay if a little bit gets cut off. If you're just using a regular sewing machine, you're gonna follow all of these same steps, but you're um, gonna use a 3 8 inch seam allowance for the whole hoodie. Um, this one, I'm just gonna run alongside my serger. whatever length you want because um, they're going to get surged off in the end anyway. So this is our first cuff done and now we're just going to do our second one. Okay, now we're going to take our waistband um, and on the short along the short side we're going to surge the short side together. It doesn't have to be lined Perfect. up because once you put it in this, it's going to make it even. That knife's going to cut off and it's just going to be even. I think now we have our hood lining. We're just going to serge the outer part of the hood. We're not doing anything with the inner part. We're just going to do the outer part.
the same thing with our exterior hood. Make sure your right sides are together. cuff cuts surged along this long side. We have our waistband cut surged along the short side here. We have both of our hood cuts surged along this outer part. Let me see if I can zoom out a little bit. There you go. Surged along this outer part of the hood, the bottom of the hood, and the front of the hood. We still have raw edges on for both of these. You can see it a little better with the black lining here. We surged on the outside of the hood there. The front and the bottom, still raw edges. Okay, now we're going to work on the front of the hood. Because we are adding pockets, we're gonna have to add the pocket lining and the, well, the pocket binding, I call it, and then the pocket lining, we're gonna have to add that as well. So you're gonna take out one of your pocket binding cuts, fold it in half long ways, and then in this hole that you cut out for your pocket, you're just gonna line up those two raw edges, folding it in half, and then you're gonna line that up with your raw edge on the hood. On, on, on the hoodie, sorry, front panel. And you just clip that in place. And then what I do is I go ahead and line up this other end here. And then line it up on the end of your panel. There. Clip it. And then I'll find about the midpoint of this. Make sure my raw edges are lined up in about the middle of the circle there. And we're gonna clip it. Now this doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. And the reason for that is whenever you're surging this on the serger, it, both of these are knit fabrics. And so you're going to be pulling and stretching and lining up as you're surging. So that pocket or the back here will line up. You can just line it up as you go. So it doesn't have to be exactly midpoint, which is another good thing about uh, clothing is you can kind of fix it as you go. Whereas with bags and other projects, you have to, you know, be precise and right on uh, whenever you're pinning all of this together. So I'm just going to repeat this process for the other side of the panel because I am doing two pockets. I had planned on doing one uh, and then I got a little careless whenever I was cutting everything out and I went ahead and did the two pockets. So he's gonna get two pockets on his hoodie. Line that up. And doesn't have to be absolutely perfect, just somewhere, somewhere close. There. All right, so now we're gonna take this to the serger and we're just gonna serge along these two pocket holes here. we're going to sew the pocket lining on. I went ahead and did one just so I could show you what it looks like. So this is what the, it's going to look like from the outside. You see that little stormtrooper peeping right there. Okay. So this is what it looks like from the back side. You are going to do this one, this part on a sewing machine. If you have a cover stitch, that's even better. I don't have a cover stitch. It's on my wish list. Maybe one day I'll have one, but the cover st stitch definitely does give it a more professional look. So, sewing cotton lacquer on your sewing machine, you definitely want to make sure that your tension settings uh, are set correctly, and every machine is different. So, what I do, 
I know this is the cotton uh, lycra from this company because it's from this panel. And I just go and adjust all of my tensions. Uh, see how this one, this one really wasn't good. This one was better, not good. It was causing it to bunch up. Um, so I just use a sample piece and go through until I can adjust my tensions on my machine to get those right. So to put this on, you're going to take your pocket lining like this. Take your pocket lining and line, I line the bottom corner up first. Some of these threads get in the way sometimes. I line these up first, like that. And then I go ahead and line that bottom up as well. Like that. Now I lay it flat. Make sure your pocket is laying flat. Cotton lacquer does tend to roll some uh, whenever you cut it. Like see up here at the top how it's rolling a little bit. But this this fabric company has really good quality cotton lacquer. So it doesn't really roll as much as some other fabric companies might. So we're just going to line it up on the edge here. Okay, and now we're gonna take it to the sewing machine. In the pattern, it's a, it does say to sew it from the back. I like how my top stitching looks on the front of the machine. I don't really like how it looks on the back. So I sew from the front. And what I do is I sew from, um, from like this side, I would sew start here. And I keep the very edge of the pocket and I'll line it up with the outer part of the foot. I'll show you when I get there. Um, but you can feel where this pocket ends. And I just kind of guide that with my finger. Um, and that's how I do my, that's how I sew it on. I'll show you at the machine. Okay, so now we're back at our sewing machine. And so what I do is you can feel your lining end here. So what I do is I take that lining and I line the outer part up with this part of my foot. Like that. And now when I'm sewing this on, I can feel my lining, my pocket here. And so I'll put my finger here. And that way I know this part needs to line up with this part of the foot. And that's how I sew it down. You can pin it and sew it from the back if that's easier for you. That's the only part you need a sewing machine for. You can use a thread that matches this fabric and it does hide it a lot better. Since mine kind of goes over uh, my panel image here, I just did black, some contrast, and you can really see what I'm talking about with the black going on. So now that we have our pockets on, we have everything sewn together. Now we can actually start assembling the hood. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to grab our sleeve. This is one of the sleeves. On the pattern piece, it will tell you which is the front and which is the back of the sleeve. This is the part of the sleeve that goes towards the front. Okay, so we're going to take the front because this is the front part of the sleeve. I just took my pattern, laid it on top to see which was the front, which was the back. This is the front. So we're going to take our front and we're going to lay it right side down. And we're going to put right sides together on our front panel. And we are going to clip this in place before we take it over to our serger. Okay. And I'm just going to go ahead and attach both sleeves while I'm here. So since this one, the front was on this side, on this one, it's going to be, I'm sorry, 
on this sleeve, the front was on this side. So on this sleeve, the front is going to be on this side. We're just going to lay them right sides together. And you see how they line up. If you, if it's the back, let's just say this is, let me just show you. They don't line up. This is way bigger than this is over here. So you want to make sure the front is lined up with the front of the hoodie. Go ahead and clip those in place. Again, if you're using your sewing machine instead of a serger, you're just going to sew all this together with a 3 8 inch seam allowance. Okay, now I'm going to take this to the serger and I'm going to serge along this edge for this sleeve and this edge for this sleeve. sleeves onto the front panel. Now we're going to put on the back panel. So you're going to take your back panel and you're going to want, it's going to lay obviously like this. So you're going to want right sides together for this side. And then you can lay it back flat like this and then do right sides together on this side. Okay, now we're going to take it to the serger and we're going to sew these, or serge, these lines here and here to attach the back panel to the hoodie. I forgot to hit record when I was serging those together. I'm sorry. So I serged this and this. So now what we're going to do is take our sleeve and we're going to fold these right sides together. And we're going to pin our clip all the way down. So we're going to be surging along this whole side to kind of close it together. So one thing you really want to be sure to pay attention of, move these strings out of the way, is you want this, sorry, I thought you could see, you want these seams here to line up as best as possible. So I always clip that and then I'll throw in one more clip on this side. And then you're going to make sure that you have both the pocket lining and the bottom of your panel. You want all three of these to line up. I keep thinking you can see. Clip that in place. Make sure any strings that you have hanging out or that you want cut off, go ahead and put them on the outside. That serger will cut it off for you. And then I'm going to pin this because I want this to be down. So make sure that pocket lining here you don't want it to be pointing up. You want it down. So make sure it's down. And when you're at the machine, you want to make sure that you're still doing it. And it doesn't get caught up. The same with this other one. You don't want it to get flipped whenever um, 
you're surging everything together. So we're gonna do this along both sides and then we're gonna take it to the machine and surge both sides together. attach our waistband and our cuffs so to do this these are this is one of your cuff cuts that we searched along this line we're going to take this and fold it into itself lining up your seams here like so get it all straightened down like this. Just move those strings out of the way. That serger is going to cut it off. All right. So there's one. Now, if you have a directional print on your cuff, you're going to want for it to sew properly. You're going to want it to go. Like, see, this is this side is your raw edges, and this is your folded edge. You're gonna want it going this way, up and down this way. Um, uh, let me see if I can find something. Okay, I just got another piece of fabric, cut it out, search it together real quick, just so I could show you this. This one's directional. So, if you take it and fold it in on itself, like we did with the cuffs. Okay, so this is going the right way. So, we'll show you how it is the wrong way. Okay, this up here is your raw edge. This is your folded edge. The folded edge is, so it's literally going to sit on the hoodie like this, going up and down. Your folded edge is going to be the very end of your sleeve. So, if you sew it like this, this is going to be upside down. You want a directional print going the right way towards the bottom folded edge. So to get it right, you just take the whole sleeve and flip it. And so now it is going the right way on the folded edge. And this is the raw edge. This is how we're gonna attach it to the hoodie. So this will lay on the hood right. Okay, so now that I've explained that, we have both of our cuffs folded. Our waistband, we're going to take, we searched it along this short edge here. So you're just gonna take it and you're going to fold this in half, like so. Okay, and that's how we're gonna attach it to the hood or to the hoodie. So same logic applies when you're doing a waistband as it does with the sleeve cuff. If you're using a directional print, you're wanting it to go down towards the folded edge. If it's not, simply just flip the whole cuff and it will go the right way. Okay, now we're gonna attach these to the hoodie. So, Get your hand in the middle there. Make sure your seams are lined up. You want your edges lined up as best as you can here. All right, so we're going to, You see? can you see the seam? Maybe if I hold it down, you can see the seam in the fabric. So, doesn't matter what side this goes on. I'm going to line this seam on the cuff up with the seam on the hooded sleeve. So, you're just gonna stuff it in there. And we're gonna line it up. Okay. I'm trying to move all these strings out of the way. All right, and I'm just gonna clip that in place. Now, when you're going in a circle, how I do it 
Can you see what I'm doing? Okay, maybe that's better. I put another lot over here. So, we have one part clipped. So, when I'm doing circles or attaching cuffs and leg bands and waistbands, I go from one side to the next. And you really want to do this in quartered sections. So, make sure your raw edges are lining up. Like so. Clip that. And one more clip on here. All right, so you got this cuff clipped like this. You're gonna repeat the process for the other cuff. Okay, I got the other cuff attached, so now we're just going to attach the waistband with the same logic. With the seam on the waistband, you can put it, this is my back, so I can center it with my back. I can put it against a seam. It's really personal preference. Um, I like it to go against the seam, honestly. Um, just because it, I feel like it lines up better. But if you're going for more professional look, obviously like a store-bought hoodie would have it in the back. So you can line it up in the back middle too. We're doing this in sections of four making sure our raw edges are lined up. Make sure your pocket is on the right side of this. You don't want your pocket going on the wrong side. You don't want it on this side because then it's all gonna be messed up. And honestly, unpicking a serger seam is, I would rather just redo the whole thing. <laughs> unpicking a serger seam is very uh, tedious, so. Let's see. Line this up. Go in in the middle. Like that. This. Okay, so now it's all clipped in quarters. So while I'm at the serger, I'm not gonna play the music because I'm gonna be talking. So warning, the next part could get loud because that serger is really loud. So as you're serging, you're gonna wanna be pulling on this fabric. I'll show you at the machine. So we're gonna go to the machine and we're gonna serge along the waistband and the two cuffs. Okay, I'm gonna start with the waistband and I always start where my seam for the waistband is. I always start there so there's minimal shifting when that's going on so my seams line up. So put, put it around this little arm here, kind of shove it in like this. That way you have something to pull against. I might have to move this because I'm gonna have to be pulling right there. Let's see, hold on. Okay, maybe, maybe you can see this better. So as I'm surging, I'm literally going to be pulling the fabric like this. See, whenever it's like this, you have all these bumps and it can gather. But when you're doing it like this, all of that straightens out. So you want to be pulling on this while you're surging it. All right, it's going to get loud because I'm going to kind of talk as I go through. All right, take your clip off. Make sure all your strings are over on this side. Make sure all this lines up with your pocket, your waistband, all that. It's going to line up. You definitely want to get this lower pocket in, in the uh, serger so that way it closes that pocket. And so since we clipped it into four equal sections, you know that each section is supposed to be even. You're not gonna have any lumps, bumps in your fabric. 
So just make sure it all lines up. And I just go from clip to clip, making sure everything's lined up and good to go. Let's see, I stopped here because I want this to be flat. So just flatten that out and put your presser foot back down. Making sure everything lines up. All right, last section. Make sure you're catching all your seams. And so to close it off with a surge, I leave the little tail here. And with these nails, it makes it so hard. Leave the tail there. Take this part. Get it as close as you can to that seam there. And then I just cut it off. And now we're going to do the same for the two cuffs, just on a smaller scale. But always start where your seam is, and then just go all the way around both cuffs. over to the cutting mat and then we're just gonna attach our head okay so now that we have the cuffs and the waistband onto the hoodie we're gonna put that to the side we're gonna finish our hood real quick you're gonna take the lining we're gonna turn it right side out and you're just gonna slip this into the outer part of the hood, so right sides are going to be together. Line that seam up at the top. And I'm just going to pin it all the way around the front of the hood. We're going to leave the bottom. We're not going to sew the bottom. We'll cover those raw edges when we attach it to the hoodie itself. It's a weird, weird angle right here with the new piece of equipment that I got. <laughs> so I'm trying not to hit the equipment, but reaching around it at the same time. It's looking a little weird over here. So we're just going to finish clipping this. And then we're going to take it to our serger. And we're just going to serge around the front of the hoodie, just the front. Let me see if I can straighten it out. Just the front, gonna leave these bottoms undone. Okay, so now we're going to turn our hood inside out like this 
And then we're going to tuck it in right there. Push the lining in to the exterior there. So it'll look like this. Okay, and so now we're going to actually attach this to your hoodie. This is my back. And I know that this is my back because it has the print on there. And the front is the uh, Darth Vader panel. So what you're gonna do is take your hood, put it upside down. Move these strings out of the way. Take your hood, put it upside down, and put it on the inside of the hoodie. And you're gonna wanna center this best you can. I usually just eyeball it. If you don't want to eyeball it, then you can find the midpoint. Okay, I'm going to add a sizing tag here. If you can see it. I actually make these uh, with a sublimation printer. So I'm actually going to have a video. Um, this video might actually go up before this one because it's going to be really short on how to make these uh, little tags. So now there, this tag itself is not compliant. I'm not selling this hoodie. It's just a gift. So if you do add a tag, just pin it like this uh, to the top and the back there. And then uh, when you surge, it'll catch the, it, the seams of it. And so then I'm gonna flip it around to the front. This should be on the inside. Okay. And so I'm going to bring my two front pieces here my two front pieces and you want them to overlap it really doesn't matter what side overlaps what side if you have a preference um then you know go with your preference i don't ever have a preference i always just clip it and sew it however i grab it so you want those overlapped because that's going to close that gap and then I, some people will uh, pin this all the way around. I just do the four um, and I line up the middle point of that sleeve with this. I just do it. I just clip them the four sections like I do the cuffs and the waistband. Okay, and we're going to take that to our serger, and we're going to serge along this whole top part here, and then we'll come back and turn it out because we'll be done. And if you're putting on a tag, I always start with the tag, so that way it's, a, it's lined up. Because once I start pulling it and stuff, some of this other stuff can get out of line. So I always start with the seam or the tag that I'm trying to hide here. And I will go ahead and wrap this around the arm of my machine. See how it that uh, tag it just kind of caught the edge there so it surges it in perfectly fine I'm just gonna take our arms here pull it make sure we pull all those cuffs all the way out rotate that waistband all right, there it is. How 
cute. Oh, he's gonna love it. All right, there it is, finished. Okay, here it is, here's the finished product. How cute, he's gonna love it. His mother is going to love it. The cuffs are supposed to be this long, that's what makes it grow with me. It's a very cute pattern. I love the little pockets. You can definitely skip over them if you don't want to fold them, but I like the little pockets. I think it's cute. A little sewing tag in there. I'm gonna make a different video for this. I'm gonna try and link it up here um, on how to make these. Let's see. And this fabric, this fabric is from Notorious Fabric. They run their Star Wars for, they run it once a year on May 4th, cause you know, may the 4th be with you. Um, this is another one of theirs, the Floral Wars. Let's see, how cute. They do different colorways, different um, patterns every year, but um, it's definitely, definitely stock up on it um, because they do, they only run it once a year. Look at this one, look. I get the larger scale because I make mostly clothes, so the larger scale definitely works for clothing, but look at this. How cute is that? Love it. And they do have different ones for boys too. So it's not all just girly floral wars. Uh, their turnaround time is a little bit longer because they are a bigger company. It takes them, you know, more time to process orders. The quality of fabric is really good though. And you can't get this anywhere else. So definitely, definitely check out Notorious Fabric. I'll have them linked down in the comments below. All right, this is it. This is, this is the video. So let me know down in the comments below if you liked it, if you're gonna try and make one, go over to Instagram. I'll tag it right here in the video. Uh, go follow me on Instagram for upcoming tutorials. Um, we, have, we have a really good one coming up. So definitely go over there because I'm gonna be making an announcement on what the next tutorial is gonna be. And a lot of people are gonna be really, really excited about it. Um, really really excited about this tutorial so definitely go follow me on instagram for all the sneaks um i might be doing some mail day openings and stuff over there too so just go be sure to follow me over there subscribe to the channel like this video anything in the comments down below go ahead and drop those uh and i'll see y'all next time